All right, the next song is a favorite at Green Lake Bible Camp. So I guess I'm singing that today, right? Sure. All right. <laughs> Ready? Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Oh, save the wretch like me. Oh, yeah. Once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. Jesus loves me, this I know. Oh, before the Bible tells me so. Oh, yeah. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, fill my cup and let it overflow. Oh, yeah. Fill my cup and let it overflow. Let it overflow with love. I think you want to hear it. Well, good morning and welcome to worship here on the fourth Sunday of Easter. And it's the fifth Sunday of the month, so we are having a hymn sing. So there'll be lots of songs to sing today. Um, and we're glad that you are here with us this morning. Uh, a couple announcements. Next Sunday is the high school senior recognition. So May 7th is for all seniors. Um, and there are cards that are available down by the door that you can uh, write a card out to um, your, the graduating seniors from Crow River. Um, and just we invite you to send them congratulations. Um, also on May 7th is the baccalaureate service at Bruton Community Church. I think that is all the announcements I have for today. Does anybody have anything they would like to add? I don't think so. All right. With that being said, please stand as you're able. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, by whose hand we are given new birth, by whose speaking we are given new life. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are welcomed, restored, and supported as citizens of the new creation. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. Holy God, holy and merciful, holy and mighty, you are the river of life. You are the everlasting wellspring. In mercy and might, you have freed us from death and raised us with Jesus, the firstborn of the dead. In baptismal waters, our old life is washed away, and in them we are born anew. Glory to you for the oceans and lakes, for rivers and streams, honor to you for waters that wash us clean, quench our thirst, and nurture both crops and creatures. Praise to you for the life-giving water of baptism and the outpouring of the spirit of the new creation. Wash away our sin and all that separates us from you. Empower our witness to your resurrection. Strengthen our resolve in seeking justice for all. Set aside the world's needs through this living water, where drought dries the earth, bring refreshment, where despair prevails, grant hope, where chaos reigns, bring peace. We ask this through Christ, who with you and the Spirit reigns forever. Amen. We'll sing our opening hymn, Born in Cry, number 732.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us sing Shout to the Lord, number 821. Let us pray. O God, our shepherd, you know your sheep by name and lead us to safety through the valleys of death. Guide us by your voice that we may walk in certainty and security to the joyous feast prepared in your house. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. We'll now sing another hymn day by day. Today's scripture reading comes from Acts 2, verses 42 through 47. The baptized devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon, upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all, as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Word of God, word of life. The Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Number 789.
The psalm comes from Psalm 23. Please respond in the bold. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. The second scripture reading comes from 1 Peter 2, verses 19 through 25. It is a credit to you if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and the guardian of your souls. Word of God, word of life. Before we sing our next song, I want to invite the kids to come forward for a children's message. You guys could sit down front here. That'd be awesome. Gordy, what you got there? Blessed with, blessed with his spirit. I don't know. Are those scratch-off stickers? Like that smell? Do you know what those are yet? Do you know what scratch-off stickers? No, you don't. Maybe they don't have those anymore. <laughs> they must have those, right? Okay. Anyway, Doran's going to lead us in a song now, and it's called I've Got That Joy, Joy, Joy. So if you can read, uh, let's look up there, and let's sing it together with the congregation. That's... So when do you guys feel joy? When do you feel that happiness? Maybe playing outside. Playing outside, I like that one. Anybody else? When do you feel some joy? Yeah. When my friends are over. Your friends are over, yes. 
That's a good thing. So what do you do when you don't feel joy? What do you do when you're not happy? Do you just go in your bed and put the covers over your head and say, I'm done for the day? <laughs> no, you don't? Okay. Anybody else? What do you do when you don't feel happy? You go on your iPad? Okay. <laughs> you sit inside and you don't go as outside as much. So Deacon Brenda, was, she does this thing when we're in the office where she sings like all the time. <laughs> all the time. So I can tell you that a way that makes her very happy is when she sings songs. And I think when I see you guys, a lot of, some of you come to jam, right, our Wednesday worship, and when you guys sing, you have a lot of joy. You usually have a lot of joy, and you're very excited to sing. Um, and so that's one of the things I think that can bring you happiness and joy is singing songs, right? So we just sang that song, I got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. And so song is one of the ways that we can connect to God. One of the ways that we can feel God, experience God, worship God, right, is by these songs. So today is a day where we sing a lot of songs, a lot of songs, right? But hopefully you'll hear some in there that you like and that you can feel connected to God and God's spirit. So this week, if you ever feel kind of sad or lonely, maybe sing that song, I got that joy, joy, joy down in my heart down in my heart. All right, let's pray. Good and gracious God, Lord, I thank you for these children. Lord, bless them as they leave here today. And Lord, may we continue to sing songs of praise to you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right. There you are. Here's one for Gordy. It's yours. Please stand as you are able as we sing our gospel acclamation, Beautiful Savior. The Holy Gospel according to the book of John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the, sheep, is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. 
The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that, that they may have life and have it abundantly. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We'll sing. You may be seated. Please join me in a word of prayer. Beautiful Savior, King of creation, help us see your shining presence in our lives. Help us hear your voice in the words of the hymns we sing. Help us feel your presence through the power of the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen. So today we sing and we hear about Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And the importance of living out our lives, knowing that Jesus, who breaks it down for his audience because they don't understand the words he is saying, that he claims he is the good shepherd. In the next verse in John, where we stopped today in our gospel message, Jesus tells how people who listen to his voice will be safe, that they will be well cared for, and that they will live their lives knowing richness and goodness. As part of our sermon today, we are going to sing because it's a hymn sing day. And so we're going to sing uh, the first two verses of The King of Love My Shepherd Is. These verses spell out that same image that we know and love in Psalm 23. That psalm begins with, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Those words are comforting, and it is faithful in a hopeful claim. I do not live in want because Jesus is my shepherd, the one I follow because I know his voice. Psalm 23 reminds us about the beauties of living life in the here and the now even amid the darkness that can accompany day-by-day -day life. Think about all the darknesses that we face in our lives. Maybe some things such as not having enough money to pay medical bills, or not connecting with your child who seems to have taken on new friends who lead them down a risky path, or not having enough money to pay for your house payments. You name your worry or reason for your heavy hearts. Those are the dark veils that may be sucking up all of our attention or, wake, or keeping us awake at night. Let us sing verses 3 and 4.
We heard Jesus talk about the thieves and the bandits in verse 8 of our scripture for today, our gospel scripture. Another translation describes these as false shepherds. When we are in our moments of despair, when we're in our valley of the shadow of death, that is when the voices of those false shepherds are most prevalent in our mind. Are moving and speaking in our heads, they have those little voices that whisper to us, how are you going to do it? Or if you were really capable, you wouldn't have had these problems. Or you don't belong here because you clearly don't have the skills for this job. When the message of our culture says that you are not worthy of this kind of life, this is when we're listening to the voices that are the thieves that enter only to take away life not to give life. And we miss what Jesus promises. We miss what Jesus is. We miss what Jesus brings to the table that is set for us. The community that we can experience, the hospitality that we know here, the life that Jesus brings through all of our length of days, through conversations, through tears, through listening, and through celebration, through Jesus. Let us sing verses 5 and 6. We have this extraordinary gift of grace. Grace is unearned, a free gift, unearned love and forgiveness that Christ laid down his life for us in his death. The old King James term means that when we are anointed at our baptism, just like all of the kings and the priests and the prophets, we are given this gift of grace, this life in Christ that is abundant. We know we live in the hope of living beyond this life, living beyond this life with Jesus. But abundant life is also for today. It's also for the here and now. Our question now is, how do we share this abundant life with people who do not claim their Christian faith? Or who are looking for abundant life in other places of the world, other than the sheephold that Jesus presents? There are so many people who are denied life-giving opportunities in today's society. As followers of Jesus, we live in the here and now and the not yet time. We can approach living our lives and sharing life abundant with hope and trust and confidence, despite how perplexing our lives might be. While we stumble our way through the darkness, hope and trust are appropriate responses. They keep us moving toward life. I want you to take your hymnal in the front pew rack. You don't have to use it to sing. But I want you to turn to page 764. So the hymn number 764. So the top hymn number, the big hymn number in the top right corner of the page. And you'll see some words right by that hymn number 764. What do they say? Trust and guidance, right? So all kinds of hymns have different meanings for what they bring to our worship lives. And this one that we're going to sing in a little bit here is number 764. It's Have No Fear, Little Flock. And its thing is about trust and guidance. And this is how we can approach this very daunting world that we live in with all of its daunting and frightening possibilities with the trust that our good shepherd guides us and leads us. 
and that allows us to let go of our fears and to take Jesus' hand, knowing that he walks with us all of our days. So let us sing, Have No Fear, Little Flock, number 764. Precious Lord, take my hand. United in the hope and joy of the resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. O oh God, you are the shepherd who, guides, who gathers us in your mighty and loving arms. Help your church to listen to your voice, especially when the voices of sin, idolatry, and oppression threaten to overpower us. Help, with this, help us to see what we idolize, whether it be political views, our status, money, in our way of living and help us change our behavior. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. O oh God, the green pastures, still waters and dark valleys of this earth sustain your creation with a love that is both mighty and just. Where there is destruction, bring healing. Where there is desolation, bring abundance. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. O oh Lord, you, you proclaim shepherding love and protection for all people and all of creation. Direct others in our own time to learn from your people and instruct Give them servant hearts that they seek generously, that they generously seek the good of all. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. I invite you to take out your prayer list on the inside of your bulletin insert. 
Oh God, you journey with us wherever our paths may lead. We pray for those feeling overwhelmed by anxiety or depression or suffering in any way. Lord, we lift up to you now the many who are on our prayer list. We begin with Ben, Wade and Jordan, Jacobson and Baby, Dees, Dorothy, Teresa, Kalman, Jack, Arlen, Violet, Reynold, Pearl, Cindy, Janelle, Chris, Don, Gail, Richard, Richard, Janet, our Catholic brothers and sisters, and all those that we now name in our hearts, having the confidence that through the power of the Holy Spirit, God knows our needs. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. O Lord, you are the sheep gate that gives safety to your beloved flocks. Provide protection for refugees, victims of domestic violence, those who are imprisoned, and all people who are vulnerable to violence and mistreatment. Today we lift up another community who has suffered gun violence. Be with those in Texas who witnessed the mass shooting yesterday. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. You call your sheep by name and lead them through the valley of death. We give you thanks for those who have died and now dwell in your house forever. Be with those who mourn and give them hope in the promise of the resurrection. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. And we sing verse 3. Rejoicing in the victory of Christ's resurrection, we lift our prayers and praise to you, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you always. Let us share a sign of peace with those around you. Well, now you may be seated. We'll now have a time where we take up our offerings and we will sing another hymn, number 774, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms.
Please stand as you are able. God of good gifts, receive these and all our offerings as we present them in faithful service for the sake of your gospel. Amen. We'll now sing softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Go in peace, serve the risen one. Thanks be to God.